everyone. I'm David Jerome, president of High Tech Systems. Today, we're here in Nashville, Tennessee at a warehouse facility that has a failing cap uh, next to their dock plate. And this dock plate needs to be replaced uh, so they can safely load and unload the uh, trucks that come in and out of here every day. But before they can replace the dock, we have to repair this failing cap. So today we're gonna show our TX3 mixed with some sand, maybe some Rapid Set True PC as well, just to kind of show you some different options. Uh, supplies you can pick up locally to mix with our TX3 and utilize those project products together to permanently repair this failed cap where they can now attach the dock plate and we'll have no future issues. Now that we have properly prepped the area that we plan to repair, we have used the high-tech tank 10 saw that you guys saw in the video with a diamond saw blade to cut a grid pattern. Makes it easier with our rotary hammer to knock out those chunks of concrete that are bad that need to be removed. Just it's a quick way to do this. The whole prep for this section took about 45 minutes uh, from setup to having all of the uh, small rock and sand and debris vacuumed up. So what we've done is we've taken our TX3, we're gonna use our TX3 today, which is a two component uh, polyurethane product that uh, sets up for foot traffic in about 20, 25 minutes. Be fork truck traffic ready in about an hour, hour and a half, depending on the temperature. The heat index here today in Tennessee is about 105 degrees, so the product's gonna kick off really quickly. Uh, we're gonna show a mix today of 20 ounces of our B side mixed with 20 ounces of our A side, the isotonate, the hardener. And with that 40 ounces of the TX3, we've got a couple different mixes over here. We've used some Portland cement mixed with just some Quickcrete all-purpose sand in this front row here. And on the back row, we've got some True PC Natural. You can use True PC Gray. The great thing about mixing the True PC with the high-tech TX3 or any of the high-tech urethane products is it's already got the aggregate mixed in. So it gives you a really nice salt and pepper look maybe a little bit larger aggregate than that if you're gonna use it in a polish application. True. One of the other great things about the True PC is you can guarantee that it's dry. Polyurethanes do not like moisture. They will cause swelling. With excessive moisture, it'll actually cause the material to kind of break down, turn into a um, spongy looking material. And when you grind it, it's just not gonna last as long. Uh, a small amount of moisture may create a little bit of rising of the material, but when you grind it down, it'll look fine. That's a great thing about purchasing the True PC. You know that that's dry, which can be difficult to find dry sand sometimes in your local hardware store. This is just the Quickcrete all-purpose sand that we're mixing with some uh, Portland cement. You can pick this up at Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. Once again, um, sometimes silica sand will be utilized in these repairs. Silica sand will never mimic the look of concrete. That's one of the issues, and I prefer to use the all-purpose sand, which is typically mined from an area uh, somewhere local to the store. So it will typically mimic the concrete in the area that you're repairing. So once again, that's more for a polish application, but there's so many different ways that you can take sands and cements and mix those together and mix them with the TX3 to get a product that cures much faster than concrete, much more impact resistant than concrete could ever offer with slightly more elongation, very durable wear surface that will last for years and years. So we're gonna have 20 ounces and 20 ounces for a 40 ounce mix. And then we're gonna mix 100 ounces of these two combinations in at a time. So that's basically two and a half parts of sand and cement or two and a half parts of true PC mixed with the TX3. Once again, we're gonna mix this up with a paddle mixer in a five gallon bucket. We'll apply this to the area that we've already prepared. And one thing I wanna show that Brian, our camera guy has done, we had some areas here where the wall had be completely blown out next to the dock plate. So we've had to kind of dam this up. We've used some thick cardboard. He's got some duct tape here and a brace behind it, keeping that held up firmly in place. So when we pour the TX3 mixed with the True PC or the sand and cement, the weight of that will not push past and we won't have a low spot right there. So we're gonna go ahead and start mixing, get this poured down and we'll be ready to grind it here in about 40, 45 minutes.